This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet, a sleek, light, and super efficient wallet with over 30,000 five-star reviews. This was my wallet before I got the Ridge Wallet, and the Ridge Wallet changed my whole pocket situation. It forced me to be efficient and organized with my card selection and frankly made my life a lot easier. The wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash and there are over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. The wallet is super durable and industrial and will last you a very long time. Plus they come with a lifetime warranty. So if you're looking for a new wallet, give it a try and you can get 10% off by going to ridge.com slash rain and using the code RAIN. And if you don't like it, you have 45 days to send it back for a full refund. Robin needed to help bring the men who murdered his family to justice. So he could turn out like you? So that he wouldn't. Robin, Nightwing, Agent 37, Batman. These four identities make up the hero, but unlike his mentor, whether he's Dick Grayson or Robin or Nightwing or any of these personalities, he remains the same person. There is no separation. In costume or not, Dick Grayson is set apart by his charisma and his jokes, by his kindness and his generosity, and he has irresistible charm, proven by the dozens of characters he seduced. And Dick Grayson is one of my favorite DC characters, and my favorite Robin. The boy Wonder became Batman's first son after his parents, residents of Haley's traveling circus, were killed. The young Grayson boy was taken in by Bruce Wayne, the only man who knew how to console the young child. And soon after, the two paraded the streets of Gotham as Batman and Robin, the Dark Knight and his squire. It was in these early, lonely years that the role of Robin to Batman seemed so necessary, not only to the Bat, but for the man underneath the cowl. He needed someone by his side to remind him why he does it, and overall, Robin brought tremendous light to Batman's life, one that countered his darkness. It even brought Batman a rare smile. This was another chance, aside from cleaning the streets of Gotham, to make meaningful change in someone else's life. And the original Boy Wonder, to me, would end up being Batman's greatest success. During Grayson's time as the Boy Wonder, Batman gave the young bird a solid foundation. But Dick, in his nature, was always a hero, never just Batman's partner. In Robin Year One, we see these instincts to protect those around him and instincts to protect those he doesn't even know. Batman taught him to be strong. Bruce watered these roots that would blossom when he led the Titans, and later when he became Nightwing. While their relationship stayed strong, to Dick, Bruce would always see him as his son, never as his equal. Even and especially in costume, causing resentment from the new solo hero. When Grayson becomes Nightwing and ventures out to Bloodhaven, Dick learns what it's like to be a hero. Chuck Dixon's long-standing Nightwing run presents Bloodhaven to the new hero, a city that is in a few ways even worse than Gotham. Nightwing needed to prove himself, and to Batman especially, that he wasn't a sidekick, and that he was strong enough to protect his own city. Dick wanted room to make mistakes and to be his own person, not to live in the shadow of the Bat anymore. And in the very first issue, he saves a young girl getting assaulted and even gets her a job telling her to go to Wayne Industries and to tell them that Dick Grayson sent her. Saving this girl as Dick Grayson shows the kindness mixed in with the strength instilled to him by Bruce that would be on display many more times after this. When Dick takes on the daunting task of being Batman when Bruce gets sent back in time, there is a case to be made that Dick is the only logical choice. Jason was the Red Hood. He held too much anger and was too brutal to be the bad. Damien was the most skilled of them all, but too young and too inexperienced to be Batman. Tim was Batman's greatest partner, the family's best detective. Tim was so cerebral, but he joined to be Batman's partner, and that connection with Bruce was so close that he spent his waking moments trying to find his mentor. But Dick was perfect for it. Skilled detective, almost Batman's equal in martial arts ability, but what really set him apart from the others is his ability to lead. 
Dick may be kind, but that kindness goes hand in hand with his ability to be a firm and decisive leader. His generosity and strength earn him respect. And when he becomes Batman, he never loses himself. His signature charisma and confidence is on full display even when he's under the cowl. There is a purity about Dick Grayson. A purity that doesn't exist in his mentor. The difference between Bruce and Dick is that Bruce is motivated by his obsession for vengeance and or justice, depending on the writer. Because he hasn't gotten over his parents' death, obsession has plagued the Dark Knight. There is inherent darkness in Bruce that he has to actively and consciously fight off every time he puts on the cape and cowl. And it's also what gives him that edge that no one else in that universe has. But Dick has coped with the trauma of his parents' death. Ever since Bruce and Alfred took him in, he's been healing. There isn't any rage that festers inside of him. There's no darkness. And Dick Grayson is the light. He is emotionally available. He's willing to trust others. No matter who he's put around or what situation he's in, he tries to do the right thing. At the end of the Grayson series, he sacrifices his body to be a vessel for darkness, instead of Helena Bartinelli. And that moment, to me, embodied Dick Grayson. It's that purity that allows him to wear the cape and cowl and understand that it will never possess him, that Gotham will never possess him. That's the strength he has. At times, his heart rivals even Superman with its purity and aptitude for goodness. And to continue that point, I stated that Dick Grayson is the light, and this extends to his relationships. Nearly everyone Dick meets, he becomes acquainted with, almost as if that charm were his hidden superpower. One of the most important relationships in Dick Grayson's life has been with Barbara Gordon. Their evolution from best friends in their youth to a rekindled love when they were older found them playing off each other's personalities. Dick being more outgoing, whereas Barbara was more introverted, and a relationship out of necessity, when Barbara became Oracle and Dick became Nightwing. Off and on duty, they've always needed each other, and Barbara is always an important part to Grayson's story. Another noteworthy relationship being Dick and Coriander, or Starfire, who was Dick's partner for his tenure in the Titans. Their similar personalities resulted in passionate lovers, but also good friends. To the Bat family, Dick is not only the ideal to aspire to, but a big brother to everyone. And at times, such as in the Grayson run, or in the Gates of Gotham run, he's been able to command the respect of each and every member of the family and he's able to bring out their emotion. He knows what makes them tick. Jason had huge shoes to fill, and while they weren't as close as everyone else, in the Grayson run, he comes close to calling Dick his brother. And for Jason, that's incredible. Tim was Robin when Bruce was at his most vulnerable, at his most volatile, being the protege that followed after Jason. But at every turn, every question he had about the job, Dick was there to lend a hand. To be a big brother to the young Robin, mentoring and guiding him. For life in and out of the costume. Dick was able to help guide Tim to somewhat understanding Batman. And to being the perfect Robin. And finally for Damien, Dick was Damien's Batman for a time. In the Batman and Robin run. And Grayson was able to get through that tough and cold heart that Damien has. He was able to give Damien what he needed the most, what he never received, reassurance and love. He gave him respect as an equal. Dick was able to openly tell Damien that he was proud of him or that he was smart. And my favorite moment of the two being their hug in the Grayson run and this moment right here in Batman Incorporated. That, to me, is a perfect illustration of their bond. Dick and Damien were so close that Damien leapt into his arms because he was so happy to see him. And that's so uncharacteristic for the young Wayne. Dick was the perfect contrast to Damien's aggression and anger, and a fitting opposite of Tim's reluctance and cautiousness. 
Under the shadow of Bruce, expectation can be so heavy. But Dick was always there to lift that weight off their shoulders and to tell them that they were doing a great job, to tell them that they were worthy. That's the unrelenting kindness that Dick has. That's his charm, his ability to deeply understand others and their needs. In Dixon's Nightwing, Tim tells him that he and Bruce are different, but way more alike than either of them would like to admit. Their need for independence, need to be a hero to have their own city to protect. While it may have brought resentment for Nightwing in the early stages of their relationship, a part of me believed it made Bruce so proud when Dick left Gotham. Though they share these similarities, Dick is everything that Bruce isn't. He has the ability to trust others and to ask for help. Look at all the people he's been able to help. Dick Grayson is who he is because of the bonds he's created, because he's not obsessed. Unlike any other and unlike the Bat, Dick Grayson is able to inspire hope and goodness. And I think Dick is exactly who Bruce wishes he were, who he would have been had he been able to move on. But again, Bruce is so proud of his son for what he's become. To all the Robins, Dick is the golden standard that each Robin looks towards. Someone who is compassionate and kind, but also strong and assertive. A true leader. In Grayson, Dick spent 10 days in the desert without food or water to protect a baby. The little water he had for himself, he left it for his enemy, Midnighter, to make sure that he didn't die either. And one of the men who finds him proceeds to say that this is no god. It's just a man. And this moment encapsulates Dick Grayson's heart. Someone who does the good because it is the good. Someone who will save his enemies before he saves himself. Someone who inspires others to be better. And through everything, after Dick resented Batman for not treating him as an equal, Bruce sees Dick as someone who can be an even better Batman than he can, if he wanted to. And that's the highest praise coming from Bruce Wayne. And that is why Dick Grayson is Batman's greatest success.